Hello, we're at Lincoln College and this morning I'm going to show you how to set out the mock assessment for a jointed frame, interpreting the drawing so that you can actually then do the setting out rod and part two will be marking out the timber. So I've stuck my piece of paper to the setting out board and I've made sure that the paper is parallel to the edge of the board. I've got a combination square and my first step is to actually transfer a pencil line down my piece of paper. Looking at the board, I can see that the height of my frame is 375, so I'm going to start with a point and then accurately measure 375, and I can now transfer two pencil lines across. I've now got a starting point and a finishing point. Looking at the drawing, it tells me that the material is 22 millimetres thick. So from the pencil line, I measure 22 millimetres, set my combination square up to that pencil mark, and transfer a line down. All your information is on the actual um, drawing, and it tells me that while the material is 22 millimetres thick, the material is 45 millimetres wide. So from your pencil line at, at each end, measure 45 millimetres. Square that line across. So we now have the position of the top rail and the bottom rail. Looking at the drawing, our frame has a rebate in it and if we look on the drawing it tells us that the rebate is 7mm square. So, from the inside pencil line I measure 7mm at both ends. And then from one face I measure 7mm. Transfer 7mm pencil line and I can gauge down there. So now we've got a 7mm mark on there. Again, looking at my drawing, I know that because I've set out the height of the job, the height of the job always has the haunched mortise and tenon on it. So what I'm going to do now is draw in the haunch and the tenon. Again, the depth of the haunch is always a third of the width of the material. So you'll never find any measurements on a drawing to tell you that. It's always one third. I know the material is 45 millimetres, so therefore my haunch is 15 millimetres and that's from the outside edge measuring into your top rail and your bottom rail. I have now marked the haunch and I've marked the mortise on the top rail and the same on the bottom rail. That's now finished. We're now looking at the width of the job. Again, if I refer back to my drawing, the width is 300 millimetres. So again, I need a starting point. I also need a gauge line. From my starting point, I accurately measure 300 millimetres. The pencil line isn't quite long enough, so I'll just extend it down and finish it off. Again, the material is 22 millimetres thick, so I've marked 22 millimetres from that first pencil line. Gauge down. The material, 45 millimetres. 45 millimetres at each end. 
square those lines across. So we've done that. And repeating what we did on the first one, we need to mark our rebate. So seven millimeters at each end and seven millimeters wide. basically the setting out. One thing you have to remember is that the, uh, in part two I'm going to show you how to set out the material. The problem is the minute you lay your material onto your setting out rod you are going to lose some of your markings. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to transfer some of these lines so that once I lay my material onto my setting out rod I can actually see the pencil marks. So I'm extending on the second piece of this, which was the width, I'm extending the pencil lines so that I can see what you should have learned by now is a long and a short shoulder. Because we have a rebate, one shoulder will fit into the rebate, the other shoulder is a put or appears to be shorter so it fits on the back edge. So I've marked that and I've also got the overall mark, so I've got the width of my job. On the height, I need to mark the width of my mortise hole, which I'm doing there. And remember, you've got to mark your haunch as well. So I've done that on there as well. So as far as the setting out goes, that's part one finished.